The husky hopes to harry the tribe. Thank you. Congratulations, Adani. You were agreeing with my nightmare. I know it. Uh, Andrew, congratulations to you as well. You know, our, our Holy Cross contest, as Tom did a nice job of describing, we dug ourselves a hole 35-0. I don't know how many times folks have come back from that, but I would say it's probably less than 5%. And the part that was encouraging to us is we challenged our players to refocus themselves, and they were able to do that and, and battled back. Um, <clears throat> Matt Carroll is our redshirt freshman quarterback. Alex Dulski, once again, is not able to play in the, in the contest. And uh, you know, our first time out, Matt threw three interceptions. This particular Saturday, he was 28 of 32. Didn't throw the ball away one time controlled things reasonably well, ran the ball pretty well, and, and found people open in situations that were, were had chances for us to continue the drive. But once again, we continue to have an untimely penalty, and we had actually three drops that were first downs that had given us a chance to be in positive field position, and, and those drops are, are by players that, that traditionally don't drop. So we've uh, refocused ourselves and continue to work very hard on it, and, and uh, Holy Cross played a very good football game, and, and they're to be congratulated. You know, Tom does a good job over there. Uh, Dominique, as Coach Murph just said, literally finds ways to fit balls into situations where there's barely enough room for the football to get through there. There are five catches that are literally within an inch of not being able to be completed, and, and the receivers do a super job of catching them, and they're to be commended. On that same note, uh, um, you know, again, we continue to battle. Jordan Bass, our true freshman, sets a school record with 13 receptions. Um, a, a young man that comes into our program and not sure that he's even going to be able to be on the field as a true freshman, and he ends up being a starter for us when Greg Abelli goes down with a groin injury and has actually risen up and, and been very, uh, very good in his performance and play. Um, you know, feel good about those two young guys being able to help our offense and continue to grow. Uh, one young man that's been doing a very fine job for us on defense is Philip Higgins. He is uh, a very consistent guy who runs around, uh, covers up for some other people when, when he's able to take care of his assignment and, and do a very good job of pursuing. All I can tell you is we continue to coach very hard. I've been doing this for 36 years, and, and you just keep putting them through drills and, and uh, put them in situations where they get their fundamentals to be natural on the field, and, and we've been working very hard at that this week. William and Harry, again, is a team that uh, comes into the contest very talented. A week ago when they stepped on the field with Villanova, it was number five against number two. And Coach Talley said all along that we're really overrated and that kind of, well, Villanova's not overrated. They're a really good football team. Um, in the voting process, I put them number one every time. I think they're unbelievably good. But it was a very good contest with William and Mary, and uh, you know, the, the, the people for William and Mary that you want to pay attention to is their quarterback, R.J. Archer. Uh, he runs around, he throws the ball pretty well. Um, they have a, a very talented, young running back in uh, Grimes. Uh, he, he's a young man out of Pensac in New Jersey, has good speed, he returns kicks. Last year, uh, I think he returned two kicks for touchdowns. He's a very solid kickoff returner. And uh, their tight end uh, is a very capable receiver as well, a little bit like our Brian Mandelville was in 2007 and 2008. The part that is somewhat different about William and Mary is their defense is very good. They have a, a very good um, defensive end. I personally think that he has uh, got a chance to be a Sunday afternoon player. His name is Adrian, Tr Adrian Tracy. He has good size. He runs around pretty well. And uh, you know, their defense is exceptionally quick. They, they show up very well. And they also have a very solid punt returner. He's been the CAA special teams player a couple of times already this fall. And uh, he's B.W. Webb. He also played the corner spot. You know, we had decent practice last night. We fit things together a little better. Continue to have a lot of young guys that have to be on the field. 